Hey, what's up? T-R-O-Y, the maker, checking in. Today, we are making acrylic ring boxes. And if this is your first time here, I do project videos using a Glowforge 3D laser printer. And if that's something that interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you will be notified when I drop a new video. Welcome to the project. We will be using some 1 8 inch thick black acrylic, some 1 8 inch thick clear acrylic, some 1 half inch thick black acrylic, yeah, 1 half inch thick black acrylic some magnets, and my trusty old tube of E6000. That's just for you, Big Cap, because you said you're going to buy me another one, and you ain't bought me one yet. Hey, that one's for you. We got all of the materials out of the way. Some of them will be linked in the description below. Now, let's get to the design. Okay, then we're in Glowforge Print, and I'm going to show you how I made the Polygon ring box. So I just went up here to insert shape and I went over here to insert polygon. We got the polygon inserted and it is 3.494 in width by 3.323 in height. And if you're on a Mac, we're gonna select it, command C, command V to make a copy. And we're gonna command V to make another copy. And we're gonna make another copy. Command V, we're gonna make four of them. I think we're gonna need about four. Okay, cool. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna insert a circle. So we're gonna make a circle and we're gonna go down here and we're gonna change the circle to 0.25 and it's gonna be 0.25. Okay, I already did this shape before and I already did some inlays. So that's why I know the sizes that I wanna use for this. And it's also a nice size for the ring box. So we're gonna take this one and we're gonna change this shape to 2.639. We're gonna unlock this right here. It's gonna be 2.509. And we're gonna select this one. Let's zoom in a little bit. And we're going to put it inside of this one right here. The way that I'm going to do it, I'm gonna line it up at the top, just like that. That way I know it's in the center. And I'm gonna use the down arrow key and just move it down. So it looks about even. And we're gonna take this circle and we're going to put it right here on the side, like so. And to get this circle on the other side, select that circle, Command C, Command V, make a copy. And I'm going to line it up right inside of the circle like that. And then I'm gonna use the arrow key and I'm gonna press over and count how many times until I get on the outside of the whole polygon. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're gonna go nine, and then I'm gonna select everything like right here. And I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to flip horizontally, like so. And I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna count backwards with the left arrow key back over it so it can be in that same spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine like so. So that way I know it's nice and even. And then we're gonna change that last piece to 2.655 by 2.525. This is gonna be the clear acrylic. We want to select this one right here, the whole entire thing, Command C, Command V, and we're gonna move it over here to the side like so. And we're going to take out the little circles. Okay, so these are all of the pieces that we're gonna use for the polygon ring box. Let's zoom in a little bit. And as you can see, we're gonna cut this one out one time. This is gonna be, we're gonna cut this out one time and we're gonna cut these right here each two times. And this is gonna be the clear acrylic right here. And also, if you wanna add a text or anything like that, you go up here to the text file and you just type in and you're basically just gonna put it inside of the clear acrylic one, like so. Make sure it's flipped backwards so you can engrave it on the back side of the clear acrylic and it's gonna show really good. And this is how you make the polygon ring box using only Glowforge print. Okay, we are in Corel Draw. This is the design that I came up with. This is the actual shape of a ring. This is gonna be, this part right here is gonna be black acrylic. I'm gonna use 1 8 inch thick acrylic right here. And this one right here is gonna be 1 half inch thick acrylic. And I wanted to give it a little bit more depth because you know, some people got bigger rings 
This one right here is where the, I'm gonna put the magnets in. As you can see, I got a hole at the top and at the bottom. This is where the magnets is going to go. And this is gonna be 1 8 inch thick acrylic. And this one right here is gonna be black acrylic. I'm going to engrave the blue and I'm going to cut out everything. And it's also gonna cut out this center part right here because this right here is gonna be the clear acrylic that I'm going to inlay inside of this one right here. And also this part right here, if you wanna do some type of text or anything like that, this is where you wanna put the text set and engrave it backwards. So when you flip it on the other side, it'll show right and it'll be nice and smooth on the top side. And it's going to inlay inside of this one. Okay, we got everything cut out. Let's talk about them. Let's start with the diamond. As you can see, it turned out really, really good. The magnets is really, really strong and it definitely will hold like bigger rings. Now it is a little bit thick on the outside, but hey, it looks really, really good. Okay, now let's get to this one. As you can see, the magnets is on the outside because when I put the clear acrylic in, I put it on there backwards so and it's really, really tight. So I just ended up turning around this top part. And luckily these magnets are really, really strong. So it still snaps together like so. And the thickness of this, now this is a really nice size thickness and it still will hold like some, a good, you know, it still will hold some rings and it still will hold some rings. I don't know about no big fat diamond rings or anything like that, but it will hold just some regular size rings. I don't have any, but I have like two little things that kind of would give you the ring look and it holds them just fine. I also like how this look and it's not as strong as this one right here. Now this one right here is really, really strong because the magnets actually touch each other. These are the ring box holders. And there you have it. Some laser cut acrylic ring boxes. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next project. Let's go make something else.